Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and as you can see we are not at the farmhouse today but we are in a very special place. This is Sedalia, Virginia. You guys have heard me talk about coming here. We come here and we camp. We come here for festivals and we just absolutely love it. It's one of our favorite places on earth. So today I'm going to take you guys on a little adventure and show you some of the things that we have been up to lately. So we are going to hop in the car and we're going to get ready to go. Okay guys, we are super excited to show you guys the future home of Hummingbird Acres. We have bought 24 acres in Bedford, Virginia, and we are super excited to share it with you guys. We have lots of plans for this property, and we this property just spoke to us the first time we stepped foot on it, and we are super excited to share this adventure and this journey with you guys. So let's take a look at this brand new property. We found this property about a year ago. We were actually supposed to be attending the Homesteaders of America conference in Front Royal, Virginia. And we got there in the morning and by the time we got there, the line was so long that it was gonna take us like an hour and a half, two hours to even get in. Now I had found this property online and Jamie and I had talked about going to see it the next time that we were in Virginia and that was our plan. Well, we were in Front Royal, Virginia, which was about halfway between home and this property and we decided that coming to visit the property and see it in person was going to be more beneficial than waiting in line for a conference that we were then most likely not going to get to see the speakers we want, wanted to see. So we called our agent and he agreed to meet us later that afternoon down here at this property and we got to see it for the first time. Now, funny thing is, is that when I looked this property up online, I actually didn't realize that it was this property. I actually thought it was the property next door and I was so confused and the agent was like, well, let's just go look at it. Maybe it will surprise you and boy did it surprise us. So here is some video footage of the very first time that we were here. Um, we just fell in love with it. So here is some video footage of the very first time we were here and kind of the first plan that we had after we walked off of this property. So coming up the driveway um, on the right hand side over here is where they had three mobile homes, like trailers which are now removed. So we know, we're pretty sure, that this is where the septic system is. So we would put the camper in here with the septic and water for now. And then eventually we could either do, because the space is from here, all the way back down to that tree line, which is right there, which is the where the next video will start. So all of this open space could be turned into pastured land for animals or cause it does go back beyond the woods or we take this area and we put in two campsites so we can do camping on the property or maybe we do both. So this for in the beginning would be for our camper and then in the end, the options are kind of open. If we do set this up as the spot over here for camping they would get a great view of that mountain as well. Okay, so walking down the driveway, whoops, if I don't fall, once you get past the trees that are on my right, down this way would be a little road, like a gravel driveway to the walkout basement. And then our house would be here. So we're gonna keep going down the driveway. So 
so our house would be there. And it would be on an angle so that, hold on, we gotta walk a little farther. I'm still just walking down the driveway. <laughs> so it'd be on an angle so that off the back corner of the porch, you see that mountain. Okay, so it would be kind of nestled in that corner. And then just past, the mudroom would be on this side over here. And then just past that, all of this area would be a garden. And then on the left, where these trees are right here, we would put a long, skinny barn. And then on the other side of the long, skinny barn would be pasture. And then right here, kind of where like Jamie's standing to the left of him would be parking spaces for us and parking spaces for customers who are coming for you pick flowers. So that would be there. The barn would be long and skinny where these trees are. And then on the other side would be pasture and I can walk that way too. So we are at the end of that tree line. So the end of where the barn would be and all of this over here would be pasture. Um, one of our first priorities would be pigs or goats to clear out some of this wooded space. On behind that very first hedge, there is an access road back there. So we would start to clear that over time and it would give us more wood for burning and more room for pasture. And then the garden would probably end right here at this tree, which might have to come out, but we'll see. So, and if you go back this way, all of this would be garden. The house would be back here and the white suburban there would be our driveway out. And then the barn would be over here with parking on the other side. When we got home from visiting the property for the first time, and that was in October of 2021, 20, I believe. Um, and we got all of our ducks in a row and we put in an offer and that offer was rejected. The seller said, no, they didn't even counter offer nothing. They just flat out said no. Now we, our agent ended up, we ended up switching agents because our original agent was moving and there was kind of like a little bit of a lull and a, a lull in there, but we think that lull played into our favor because our new agent who we absolutely love became really good friends with a little bit while later she came back and said okay let's try this again so we put in another offer again we that this time they countered with us they did come back the big thing with this property was is in the main area the flat area as you come up the hill there is, according to record, two septic systems and a well. And we knew that we did not want to build in that area. We knew that the area in the farther back of the property was more desirable to build. So we wanted to get a perk done in order to make sure that we could eventually build back there. And the seller did not want us to bring in any heavy equipment to do a perk. So they kept telling us, kept denying us um, every, anytime we put in an offer, they would deny it, they would deny it, they would deny it. So in, oh gosh, I guess it was in February, they denied our offer again. And Jamie and I had decided, you know, we are just going to walk away from it. If it's meant to be, it'll come back around and it will be meant to be. So after we got denied the property in the January, February timeframe, Jamie and I decided, you know, let's just walk away from it. If it is meant to be, it'll come back to us. You know, we're going to walk away from it. It was a really, really tough decision for us. We absolutely loved this property. We didn't want to walk away from it, but we just realized that the sellers were not working with us and it wasn't going to be a pretty ending and it wasn't gonna be something in our favor. So we decided to walk away. And then we did find another piece of property that we actually ended up really liking 
it was about, I think it was 27 acres. It was about, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes south of where this property was located. So still kind of in that general area that we wanted to be. So in March, we went down and we looked at that property. We had guys come out to do a perk test on it. And as we were walking the property, trying to get a perk, they could not find a single place that would perk. Very devastating, very hard nut to swallow. And at that point, we really just wanted to give up. We were done. We were just like, everything is in, not in our favor. We, we just wanted to give up. We attended an event at the Sedalia Center that weekend. Um, I was actually working that weekend at that event. And Tom and Doris McCabe started asking us questions about our process and where we were and how much longer until we moved down here. And Tom said something to Jamie and I that just struck a chord. And he said to us, you know, you are family and we want you down here so bad. And that meant so much to us. Everything just seemed like it was falling apart and we just, we wanted to give up. So after talking to Tom and Doris and, you know, it kind of put a little pep in our step and we were like, okay, we will continue to look. We just haven't found that perfect property yet, but we are not gonna give up. A couple weeks later, our agent called us and she's like, you know, I had an idea. You guys did a hand auger perk on this previous property. Maybe the sellers will do, will agree to a hand auger perk for this property. So we took her suggestion and we decided that we would put in another offer with the clause that we would do a perk with a hand auger only. And we were shocked. I think I was, the our agent called, I was weed whacking in the garden and I was completely shocked when she called and said, you're never gonna believe it, but they accepted your offer <laughs> and they did. They accepted our offer. I was so excited. We were all so excited. I called Jamie at work. He was super excited and we started the process rolling. So we had plans to come down, I guess later that month. And we met our friends down here, um, Dan and Steve, they did the perk for us. Now they had trouble in the beginning, finding a place to do a perk, but they didn't give up. They actually came back for us later on and found a spot and they were also located two of the three septic systems that were already currently on the property so with all of that information we went to closing we closed about may and then we have just been working on coming up with a plan and a strategy for this property so i'm going to share that with you guys in the next video kind of our plan for this property and what our thoughts are but i want to give you guys some more videos and some more info about the property. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of this property. So the property is 24 acres. It is divided into a one acre, one and a half acre section in the front that has its own septic system. And then it is 23 acres in the back. When the little bit of history on this and from what we can tell and what we have gathered from talking to the neighbors and just doing our own research is that there were four, three or four mobile homes on this property probably about 10 years ago. The owners before us, when they bought it, they had someone come in and rip out all of the mobile homes and clear a big section in the back. And then they kind of just stopped working on it. Well, when they cleared all of this, they didn't mark anything. So finding the septic systems, like I had mentioned, was kind of difficult and tough. And the well was really easy to find because it was white sticking out of the ground. But the septic systems were hard to find. And we, the electric, no idea what was going on with the electric. So it also has a creek that runs through it and it has another creek that feeds into it. We have a trail in the back that runs right along the edge of the creek. But most of all of this is raw land and it is zoned agriculture. So we can do lots of things with it, especially things that we want to do. And the most amazing thing about this property or one of the most amazing things about this property is the view. We have been up here on cloudy days and it is beautiful. And we have been up here on crystal clear days 
and it is beautiful then too. The views are just absolutely phenomenal. So like I said, here is some more clips about this property and our future homestead and what it's gonna look like or what it looks like now. We plan on documenting everything on this adventure, everything we're building, everything we're doing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along on our homesteading adventure. You guys always know when it's adventure and you know we are always getting into trouble. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and make sure you stay tuned for our next video when I give you the plan for this property.